Making sense of percentages in real life. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to our English language learning series. Today, we'll tackle a topic that is incredibly practical and useful not just for learning English but also for navigating real world situations. We're going to dive into real life percentage application exercises. Whether it's understanding sale discounts or calculating your exam scores, percentages are everywhere in daily life. So, let's get started. Percentages are a way of expressing a number or ratio as a fraction of 100. It's indicated by the percent symbol. For example, if you scored 90 out of 100 on a test, that's 90%. When we say 50% of people, it means 50 out of every 100 people. Let's take a look at some basic percentage calculations. When you need to find a percentage of a number, you multiply that number by the percentage, expressed as a decimal. For instance, to find 30% of 200, you multiply 200 by 0 0.30, which is the decimal equivalent of 30%. Now, let's see how percentages play out in real life. Imagine you're shopping and see an item originally priced at $100 but it's on a 20% off sale. You'd calculate the discount by multiplying 100 by 0 0.20, getting $20. So, the discounted price would be $100 minus $20, or $80. In another scenario, let's say you're trying to calculate what grade you received on an exam. If the exam had 50 questions, and you got 45 right, you divide 45 by 50 to get 0.90 or 90% when converted to a percentage. This means you scored a 90% on your exam. Now it's time for some practice. Here's an exercise for you to do. 1. You're at a store and an item costing $75 is on a 15% off sale. What is the discounted price? 2. Your savings account has $5,000 and your bank gives 2% interest per year. How much will you have at the end of a year? Take your time to work out these problems. They'll help you grasp how percentages work in the real world. And that's a wrap. I hope this session has helped you understand how to calculate and apply percentages in real-world situations. Remember, learning English is not just about language, it's about understanding its application in our daily life. Don't forget to practice the exercises and keep exploring the world of percentages. See you in our next session.